Hello, and welcome to uh, a weird week of AGT time. Cody Patterson here along with... Along with Jay Bach. We're going to be talking about, uh, I think, the 15 most viral acts, and then uh, sort of looking ahead to the live shows and uh, how we're going to uh, maybe make some fun out of the rest of the season. Yeah, we're getting ready for live shows, Jay. It's almost here. It is almost here. We were just looking before we started the recording at the uh, the ratings and how many uh, people were tuning into these. In these last couple of weeks, it feels like maybe uh, America is not tuning in quite as much as they had been during the auditions. No, uh, if you kind of look at the the ratings throughout the season, it's uh, it's kind of gone down throughout the season. Uh, you know, once it hit the the pandemic once everyone went into quarantine and there was no audience the the viewership really kind of fell off but we're getting back we're getting to live shows uh hopefully the viewership will kind of pick up once we hit uh tuesday night yes yeah it'll be a uh, live show tuesday and then results on wednesday so make sure that you get your votes in tuesday uh after the show and uh let let the judges know who you like, who you want to see again. Yep. As Howie would say, vote, vote, vote. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> yep. You got to vote. Yeah. So uh, you've been out of pocket and I don't believe that you were able to watch this most recent episode, the most uh, viral moments of AGT history, right? No, I was, uh, I was out of town on vacation. Uh, and so I did not watch the 15th anniversary yet. It's kind of been, crazy since i got back in town you know gotta catch up on work got a bunch of other stuff going on uh so just haven't got around to watching the 15th anniversary but jay you watched it you took the notes uh but i think we're going to recognize a, a lot of the acts that were on that list yeah these are some of the most um the most viewed acts anyhow maybe not the most popular but uh there's some sort of entertainment value to these guys uh, and they they kick us off with a uh, guy that goes by the name Special Head. Do you remember him? I do remember Special Head, yes. Yeah, he's a, a bald guy, kind of looks like Howie, actually. <laughs> and uh, he, he comes out on the stage real hunched over, and he does some, like, some, some throat singing, which is always uh, uh, entertaining. Uh, and he, like, does some, like, meditation stuff with a, uh, like, Tibetan singing bowl kind of thing. And then he surprises everybody by... Uh, seeming to float and uh, it, it was at minimum spectacular <laughs> uh, it, it's, it's fun to watch um, 111 million views for special heads uh, special heads performance uh, yes so so were these views is this their YouTube channel I don't know how they collected these I would guess something like YouTube hits or, or okay. something okay um, that's, it's interesting that he's on this list. Cause if I remember correctly, he didn't really go anywhere after that. No, I don't believe he was, uh, like if he made it through auditions, I don't believe he made it through judge cuts. Yeah. I, I think he did make it through auditions. I don't believe he made it through judge cuts. I think he came in to judge cuts and just did something not very spectacular. He, you know, he kind of, he kind of blew it all on the, on the auditions. Um, so it's interesting that he's, on this list of all the acts that we've had people must really be fascinated with this type of trick yeah um i didn't think that was it was that great of a trick honestly um i, I feel as if i know exactly how it's done and that really takes a lot of the um the shine off of that one <laughs> yeah it's it's not that great of a trick i think i've seen some street performers that have been able to do that trick um, yeah. and there's there's actually sites out there that show exactly how it's done not going to spoil it here uh so it it it, it was kind of cool but it really wasn't that fascinating yeah all right uh so that was special had 111 million views next with 119 million views is light balance you'll remember them they're kind of like light balance kids but it's adults yes um yeah. So yep. <laughs> yeah. So light balance. I can understand why they're on this list. Uh, and and 119 seems really low for them. But uh, they're you know they're one of the best of those. I don't know that light dancing genre that we've seen uh, over the years. They're, they're one of the best. Um, 
So it's it's great to see them on this list. Um, so the, the the kid the kids didn't make this list though, right? They did not. No. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, if you recall, it's kind of the same act as Light Balance. <laughs> yes, but with so, adults. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, next act after Light Balance is the unbeatable, the highest flying, most energetic dance act, dance group there is. Uh, yes. So this is one of the best acts we've ever seen on AGT. You know, at number 13, still seems kind of low. Uh, maybe it's just recent bias uh, that we're that we're getting here. Uh, but, you know, they, they were on a couple of years ago. Maybe it's still kind of calculating. I mean, we'll look at some of the, the hits of some that have been around for a while. Yeah, they were on season 14 and yeah. then in Champions. Yes. So it's really only been one year for them to amass those 120 million views. So it's not so bad. That's true. Special, uh, Head, Special Head was on several years ago. So he's right. And, and Light Bounce, it's been a few years for them. So I, I guess you're right for, for only being a year and to, to be at the number 13. That's, that's pretty impressive. Yeah, so that's the end. They had 120 million views, a uh, million more than Light Balance. Uh, just edging them out with 121 million views is uh, one of our very favorite uh, magicians, Shin Lim. Uh, he is incredibly smooth. He's very likable. Um, and one of the things that he has going for him is that he – uh, he started off as an amateur and like, you really just want to cheer for this underdog, this, you know, this, this amateur guy. So uh, Shin Lim, number 12. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Shin Lim's not one of my favorites. I mean, I, I guess I kind of got tired of him, you know, winning uh, and then going on and winning champions. Uh, maybe he got a view for every time he kind of flicked his hair or uh, <laughs> uh, uh, waft his hair. Uh, yes, he is smooth. Um, he, he's not as entertaining as, as I like for a magician to be. Uh, but, I, you know, it's, it makes sense where he's at. All right, Shinlin, number 12. Yep. Uh, then we get a little montage about how Heidi loves uh, shirtless men. Uh, she also loves pigs. And then we get a montage of some danger acts that didn't make our uh, our top 15 here. Uh, Beer Kalsa was one of them. One um, of your favorites? Uh, it, I enjoy him a lot. Yeah. Uh, lifting things with eyelids and nipples and sword swallowing and uh, ramps and people throwing flaming things and a lot of uh, uh, a lot of those danger acts uh, just kind of a, a quick highlight of all those things and then speaking of danger acts here is Aaron Crow with 147 million views we got to watch him slice the pineapple that was on Howie's head um, I've forgotten how uh, how much tension there was in the in the room when he was blindfolded and cut that pineapple off of Howie's head. Yeah, now Aaron Crow is uh, the one that doesn't talk during his audition. Is that correct? Correct. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So that was 147 million views. Next, with 149 million views, uh, our little violin player, Tyler Butler Figueroa. This this still fascinates me, Jay, uh, that, that Tyler Butler Figueroa is still getting all this love. He's in the top 10 of most viewed uh, videos or whatever, how, whatever it is that they're calculating here. Yeah. People, most viral, people love, yeah. yeah, most viral. People love them some some Tyler Butler Figueroa. They do, and they reminded us of his story of how he had cancer and kids at school bullied him because he had cancer, and you know I don't know the kind of garbage they would say to him, but like certainly awful, awful stuff, and like it does kind of break your heart seeing him, you know, and and thinking that you know this was sort of a retreat for him to um to to find a place in violin playing and uh the kids crazy adorable like it, it, i really did enjoy kind of going back to this edition of tyler butler figueroa um he's still not the best or even second best dancing violinist that we've had but uh i, I can see why this one went viral yeah um Okay. Uh, we had a Seth Ward sighting in nice. a montage of people who love Simon. Did you get the uh, walrus? Was he in the walrus outfit? I, ah, boy, I didn't write down what costume okay. it was, and it's not jumping out to me. But, uh, <laughs> but we love Seth Ward. Yes, Bring we do back love some Seth, Seth Ward. Okay. Yes. Uh, next act of the night is uh, Celine Tam. Cute, little, adorable girl. Uh, 159 million views. Uh, you'll remember Celine's little sister was named Dion. Yes. 
Uh, and she sang us some Celine Dion. Uh, she's got a real mature voice, uh, kind of fun, kind of fun stuff. So yeah, this, this is the one where her dad really loves Celine Dion, right? Yes. Yes. Really yes. loves Celine Dion. <laughs> um, okay. Then we had some of the wackiest acts, another montage because we're going to have another wacky act to talk you gotta about. You got to have wacky acts. Yes. Uh, a, a lot of shots of people, uh, you know, taking it to the crotch either by, you know, some implement or a board or a foot or whatever it is. Um, the group, was it a group of four that uh, they, they were like human fountains and spitting the water? Yes. Uh, I was thinking, what a 2018, 2019 <laughs> kind of act. <laughs> that would not fly in 2020. <laughs> Not going to well, happen. But if, if you know, the weirdest things hap- have happened in 2020, it might fit right in. Yeah, boy. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I feel like people are just squeamish enough right now that it's yeah. just not going to fly. But yeah. uh, we were reminded of uh, our professional regurgitator, uh, reminded of Yumbo Dump. You remember them? I do remember uh, them. They, yeah. they made uh, a lot of sound effects with their bodies. Yes. And then uh, our, our dancer, Urian Retriever. Uh, she um, would, would move her, her hands and her, and her head and uh, was not a great dancer, but yeah. um, she seemed to make people smile at least. So. I'd, I'd like to know where a prefer- professional regurgitator is on this list. I mean, where, where would he fall? Because uh, I, I, I think he's gotten a lot of views on his videos and he's been around a while. Yeah, uh, he's been around for a long time. And, uh, you know, he's... Like sometimes you think like, okay, the little kid singers, like if I'm going to look for little kid singers, like, you know, I'm, I'm going to um, run out of things to like, uh, I'll tire of wanting to watch another little kid singer. Like yeah. they're, they're going to split that vote a little bit, but yeah. you know, if I want to see a professional regurgitator, there's only one place that I'm going. There's only one guy. Yes. There's, so uh, he, he's not getting the, the split vote. Like the, <laughs> So, yeah. he, pretty, he pretty much has the monopoly on that talent. Yes, yes, yes. yes. He's, he's, he's trademarked the name, I'm sure. <laughs> uh, so, what was his name? Stevie Stevie Star? Is that something right? Something like that. Something like that. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, I, I'm curious to see how many views he might have. But, yes, uh, uh, f- I'm sure former co-host Cody Mims uh, has a has uh, contributed a lot of those videos or vid- views himself. <laughs> Um, yeah. So, Hey, if you want to see some, you know, cute kid singers, like you can go find one or two out there, but if you want to see a professional regurgitator, like, yes, this is your guy. So. Yeah. And, and I guess my question is how is he not on the list, but the next group is, um, boy, I don't know. Timing is what I gotta, it's gotta be my guess. Right? Like we were saying, if, if you've been around long enough, you're going to rack up some views. Um, but clocking in with 231 million views, <laughs> At number eight, we've got Men with Pans. And these were two guys that came out uh, like dressed as chefs. They had the toques and they had uh, the handlebar mustaches and they um, stripped off the clothes and um, covered themselves with their pans. They were very creative in how they moved their their bodies to make sure that they weren't um, exposing themselves uh, unnecessarily. it was a fun act. It makes you smile. Um, you know, like it, it, it's not my thing, but I appreciate the creativity and I appreciate the, um, uh, the, the humor that goes into what they're doing. Yeah. Yeah. It, I remember it being a lot of fun, uh, a lot of, fun. <laughs> excuse me, mm, getting choked up about it. Uh, <laughs> I remember it being a lot of fun and, uh, yeah, being creative with it. I think they were kind of a one trick pony, uh america i don't remember how far they went um i have to find that out but uh it, it seemed that they didn't have uh, much depth yes um heidi called them so uncomfortably funny i think it was heidi anyhow yeah. all right number seven act one of my absolute favorites one of the auditions that really stands out to me is tape face with yes. 242 million views. Uh, they showed that endless love with the, the oven mitts singing to each other and yes. the way that his eye, like he looks so uncomfortable as the oven mitts are moving closer and closer to kissing. And uh, it just is just fantastic. Just yeah, fantastic. This, 
this is one of the most classic uh, auditions on AGT is his audition. Uh, I remember absolutely loving it. I mean, I just remember rolling in the floor watching this. Uh, as he went along in each round, uh, it, it seemed to kind of not be as entertaining. There was something about the middle rounds that wasn't as entertaining. And then it kind of picked up as, uh, as he got closer to the end. But this one, the audition is his classic performance. Yes, it's, yeah. it's absolutely fantastic. I, uh, um, I, I'm, I'm a big tape face stand over yes. here. So, yes. yep. uh, here we go. Okay. Number six, uh, Grace Vanderwall, uh, with 260 million views, uh, you know, having watched her, uh, kind of grow up, um, you know, we saw her in the star girl movie. We saw her, uh, you know, it continued to perform, uh, but going back to her very first audition and it's just her being uh, young old Grace Vanderwall up there playing her ukulele, singing her original song. Uh, I, I really did kind of enjoy going back to watch her audition. Uh, yeah. I, I remember it, it, it being very fascinating and everyone just absolutely loving him and her being so adorable uh on the stage during her audition it's a little surprising it's this low it's been several years now um and yes yeah, she's kind of come back in the star girl uh movie please check out our review that we did of star girl back in uh, the off season um if you want to hear two middle-aged guys talk about a teen <laughs> romance movie uh check out our review um, there you go yep uh but yeah it was a lot of fun i really enjoyed that um, surprise it's this low but uh, there's some there's some other good acts out here there are some other good acts out here uh so then we have a montage of a uh, number of acts that have found like some fame beyond the agt stage uh i tried to list them all off here we had grace vanderwall of course uh lindsey sterling uh dancing violin player um We've got Olate Dogs, uh, Melissa Villasenor, who has found some fame on Saturday Night Live, uh, Preacher Lawson, Sophie Dossi, Darcy Lynn Farmer, uh, Kalani is a rapper who's apparently a huge star, but that is kind of outside of my knowledge bubble. Yeah, I don't remember that person at all. We've got uh, Jackie Ivanko, who has sold millions of albums, uh, dance groups, the Jabberwockies. Uh, magician Matt Franco and Shin Lim and Piff the Magic Dragon and also Terry Fader who are all uh, I think those last four or five are all uh, working in Vegas uh, doing great for themselves yeah uh, I agree uh, wholeheartedly with, with this entire list I think they've all done a fantastic job uh, my only one that I wish was eliminated from this is Lo Latte Dogs you all, know, <laughs> you all know the history with me and Lo Latte Dogs I, that's that's interesting that they are on this list because every other one I know, or except for Kalani, I, I don't I don't know who that is. Every other one, yes, I, I understand is doing very very well. I didn't know a Latte Dogs was doing was still doing well. Yeah, they must be. Um, uh, you know, I don't know if they found a, uh, a, a, a venue where they are sort of the headlining act, or if they're still traveling, or what they're doing, but. Uh, um, you know, hey, if they showed up in Iowa, uh, you know, within a an hour or two, I, yeah, I'd be interested in, in checking out Olate Dogs. I wouldn't mind it. Uh, yeah, if they showed up, I'd ask them where Tom Cotter is and the guy that plays the Earth Harp is. Uh, could you just go ahead and bring them along? Because I'd rather see them than Olate Dogs. Ooh, burn. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Next act, uh, number five in our list is Angelica Hale. She had 296 million views. Uh, she sang uh, This Girl is on Fire. Uh, Chris Hardwick gave her his golden buzzer. Um, uh, what can yeah. you say? Angelica yeah. Hale. Yeah. I mean, it's enough said. All right. Uh, another young female singer, Courtney Hadwin, I believe she was 13 at the time of her audition with 310 million views. Uh, this girl was so ridiculously shy talking to the judges and, you know, introducing herself. And then, you know, the Janis Joplin comes on and she is bopping and dancing and rocking there. There has never been a larger switch thrown than when she goes from you know her her shy self to this total rocker chick yeah this was one of the biggest surprises we've seen on agt is someone that just came on stage had 
had her hair down. I mean, she's you know teenager, just kind of had that teenager look of uh, the long hair down, kind of trying to cover up her face, very shy, you know, didn't really want to talk very much. But then once she started singing, it's like it was a completely different person on the stage. Big biggest shock I think I've seen from a singer. Yep, and it, it's a fantastic performance yes. too. Yes, it's it is. really yes. fun to go back and see. Yep. Okay. Number three, uh, 350 million views is Darcy Lynn Farmer. Uh, I have gone on about her more times than I need to, um, but uh, uh, she's her, her very first audition. Uh, she's singing Summertime. Uh, it's jazzy. It's soulful. It's so wonderful. It's so cute. It's, it's the best of Darcy Lynn Farmer. Um, just wowing the judges. Uh, she's great. She's great. Yeah, I think she kind of hit it with every audience, you know, with all the different age groups with this song because she's young and cute. She's got she's a ventriloquist who's normally not aimed at at young people. It's more usually more aimed at older people. The song that she chose is also more usually aimed at older people. Uh, but she just she hit it out of the park. Huge, huge, big, big fan of Darcy Lynn Farmer. Yep. We love her. Okay, number two uh, in the uh, most viral moments with 423 million views, possibly our biggest surprise on the list here is Zuccaro. Uh, they were a dance troupe, um, it, like really a lot of amateur dancers. Uh, they kind of made a name for themselves with their giant props. They would have like a giant seesaw, giant, uh, you know, turning platform that they would perform on or uh, kind of some you know, very visually interesting things. Uh, Zuccaro, uh, number two with 423 million views. Yeah, this is interesting that a, that a, a dance group is this far up the list. Uh, it, it, we, don't, we don't have any other dance groups on this list. Uh, we have we, V Unbeatable. V Unbeatable, okay, yeah, yeah. We have a V Unbeatable. Um, and, and, they, and Zuccaro was around for a while. It was several years ago they were on, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. So there you go. That's Zuccaro. They are um, kind of V unbeatable before V unbeatable. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, there is something very um, engaging about them. And uh, there's, there's nothing not to like. I'm surprised they're clear up here at number two. But, yes, um, that is a big surprise. Uh, they really were a, a fun act to go back and visit. And then number one, uh, no surprise to anybody. We've got Cody Lee. Uh, he's blind. He has autism. Uh, he is an entertainer through and through, you know, uh, with, with his autistic, uh, goings on, uh, you know, he has clearly a difficult time, like connecting with people and his emotional intelligence, uh, you know, doesn't always seem to be there, but when he is playing the piano and he's singing, like, feels like like his his ability to connect emotionally is just um it, it's it's mind boggling so you know he has a way of of interpreting the songs of playing those songs of singing that is is just really engaging and it's it's really fun to see him um sort of overcome his his autism through music so no surprise he's number one with a bullet no no surprise at all uh i went back and and looked at zuccaro real quick and uh, they were only on uh season 13 um so i i thought it was further back than that so you know only only two seasons ago jay for zuccaro yeah yeah um but they're fun they're good yeah, yeah. but cody cody lee's very understandable of being uh this high up number one on this list it totally makes sense Yep. So that's the top 15 most viral moments. Uh, hard for me to disagree. Like it's, I, I guess I appreciate that it's not some, you know, subjective, uh, we voted this one ahead of that one. We liked this one better. Like it's very objective. Like the numbers are what the numbers are. Yeah, so that's, yeah. yeah, it's, it's, I mean, it's viewership. So it's what the people like to watch. Yep. Yep. So it, it is kind of fun to see them rated in a, um, in a, in a non-subjective way uh, yep. when you know talent really is a very subjective thing yep. uh, to begin with. So, uh, so there you go. All right. Well, moving on uh, back to this season, we've got uh, 44 acts that are going through to, um, to the live rounds uh, and 
you know, to kind of put some, uh, to put some stink on it, we wanted to talk about who, um, who's going through and maybe you and I could do a draft. We'll, uh, choose, uh, I guess 22 each. Yeah. So and, there's, yeah. So there's, there's, I'm sorry, Jay, there's 44 acts that have been put through. We don't know if there's going to be any wild cards or whatnot. We'll kind of figure that out, you know, as the wild cards come out. So we're going to, we're going to draft, as Jay said, we're going to draft 22 acts each. Okay. And then we'll assign points to those. And we were saying we'll give one point for each round that they get through, right? That's right. Uh, so if you make it through the quarterfinals, you earn a point. You make it through the semifinals into the finals, you earn another point. And then we'll do one, two, three, four, and five points for fifth, fourth, third, second, and first place. Yeah, it's a, uh, it's a, uh, you know, we're trying to make it as easy as possible, but you know, when we get to the end, it could be, could be a little complicated, but we'll, we'll figure it out. <laughs> um, it's just kind of, you know, fun, something fun to do, kind of uh, keep track of what's going on each, each week um, and uh, see who can judge the best talent. Yeah. Sounds fun. Yeah. Um, so I don't know how you uh, compiled your list or, or what you're, <laughs> uh what you're interested in uh, i do believe last time we did a snake draft you let me have the first uh the first stab at it okay so i would like to uh, return the favor and okay. say it's, it's your turn you go ahead and uh take your top one and then i will take the second and third off the board and okay. we'll go down that way so uh, i know we've been uh, we've talked quite a bit with our uh i'm hoping we can consider him good friend now uh, agt commenter and uh, he's given his love for Danalia Tulashova. Okay. So I'm going to kind of steal uh, this from our good friend, AGT commenter, and go with Danalia Tulashova as my number one pick. Okay. Uh, I had her ranked pretty low in my, in my top 44, so I am happy to give that to you. <laughs> um, you know, she it, she doesn't stand out to me as somebody that um, I guess connected with me emotionally. Okay. So that's not one that I I put too high, I guess. Okay. Uh, so for my first and second picks off the board, uh, I feel like it's smart to go with singers. Yep. Um. I think one of the most Okay, I'm going to take who I think is the most uh, memorable story, which is Archie Williams. Okay. And I'm also going to take Resound, our trio um, of uh, of singers. They were real smooth. I enjoyed them a lot. So I think uh, um, they might be the best singing group off the board, anyhow. Yeah, can you kind of talk a little bit more about uh, Resound? Uh, they are, what can I say? They're a trio. Uh, <laughs> uh, they real smooth, real soulful. Uh, let me put notes on them. Uh, see if I can figure out what, um, uh, what it was it that they sang. Let's see, um, what the world need now is love, sweet love. Uh, Jackie DeShannon, uh, clear back in auditions three was what they sang. Um, they are, you know, I, I don't remember a whole lot about them, honestly, other than thinking like, yeah, those guys are real smooth. Mm -hmm. Uh, in a way that they kind of remind me of, um, Pentatonix, you know, like just yes. some friends who can sing and can sing uh, beautifully. And why not? Pentatonix have, uh, you know, they, they have a name for themselves. So, um, I, I, I'd you know, best case scenario, Resound is going to do just the same. Uh, yeah, I mean, they, they kind of, um, they, they kind of have that nice, smooth uh, singing voice. That's a, that's, a, that's a pretty good solid pick, Jay. I'll go with that. All right. All right, thank you. Yep. So I get the was it the fourth and fifth pick now? Yep. Um, and I am gonna go. Boy, it's it's tough because you got a lot of singers, um, but I'm gonna go with uh, a comedian. I'm okay. Go, yep. Um, I think of the the list of comedians, 
And I think we have some good comedians this year. But I think one of the best ones of the season is Usama Sadiq. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you know, we have, um, let's see. So of our comedians, we have Alex Hooper and we have Michael Yo, and we have, I thought there was another one. Is that the only one? Uh, Vincent Marcus. He was the uh, rapping yep. uh, impressionist comedian. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but as far as, you know, solid stand up comedians, uh, I I think of the three that we have listed here. I thought we had more. Maybe they got. I, I guess I may, may have missed it. They must have got cut from uh, cut and judge cuts. But uh, of the three that are listed here, I think um, Usama has uh, some of the best chances to go the furthest. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think that's a that's a fine choice uh, among the comedians. Um, let's see. I'm going to pull up the list here if I can. And see if I can tell you. Um, yeah, I don't. Yeah, we'll roll with that. Okay. So you've got uh, Usama. Who's your next pick then off the board? Okay. So uh, you know, after that, I know I'm kind of going uh, a little bit away from chalk because uh, we we obviously know that singers, but you know, we're we're loaded at singers. Um, so I'm going to kind of get some of these others beforehand. Um, I think that. Uh, the next group that's going to go um, pretty far is Double Dragons. Okay. Yes. Now they are singer singer group, but yep. they're also kind of a dance group. Um, I think that uh, America will find them entertaining. Um, I, I think they'll find them lovable. They have a huge social media presence. They are all over uh, Instagram and, and well, mostly Instagram. They are, I think they're on Twitter as well. So, you know, they, they're getting their name out there. They're getting, uh, they're getting, they're getting views. Uh, they're trying to get on screen as much as possible. Um, so I, th I think America will kind of, um, will kind of enjoy that. That, that name recognition counts yep. uh, when it comes to votes. So, yep. um, okay. I like it. Um, all right. I've got two more to pick here. I'm going to go, with man like in my top five i don't have any more any more singers and i'm wondering if i if i need to uh break out or if i just kind of stick with with my talk here um oh boy i don't think this group has any way of winning i think they make enough people uncomfortable but i really enjoy them and maybe just out of out of uh, well wishing i want the bone breakers okay uh our our quartet of uh contortionists uh i'm gonna take them and then i am also gonna take man do i take another like dance crew with or do i need to get a comedian you know i'm gonna jump down i'm gonna take michael yo okay. as uh, as my fourth pick. I know a lot of people are high on Michael Yo. Um, I, I, I probably need to revisit it. I don't think I was as high on him. I think a lot of it had to do uh, with there being no audience that first week of the, the, the first week they had auditions where there was no audience. He was yes. on there. And, and I think that hurt him a little bit. Others seem to have a difference of opinion, which is fine. Um, if they enjoyed it, that, that's great. Uh, so I, I may need to revisit that then if, uh, if other people are finding it as, as enjoyment and I somehow missed the boat on it. Well, I had to c get a comedian while they were still out there. Yeah. I don't want you to suck them all up either. Th that's right. That's right. Okay. So I, it's now my turn to get, yep. uh, two more picks, uh, boy. And I just, I don't remember a lot of these singers. Um, so I'm going to go. I think people are going to really enjoy the voices of city choir. I think we're going to have kind of a, a repeat of Detroit youth choir. Um, I, I, for some people, for some reason, people like these types of choirs. Um, and, and I, and that's kind of my strategy, Jay. I'm going to go with what I think America is going to like um, more than what, I personally like. What's that? Okay. What's so funny? Well, What's so funny? No, it's fine. I, yeah. I, I just am uh, uh, like when I when I put them high on my list. Is, yeah. I I remember thinking as I was putting this together, like, oh golly, I probably have them ranked too high. But like, 
I, I so want that for them. I well, do too. Yes. I'm no, gonna, I want. I'm gonna, I'm gonna I, go ahead and go with it. Yeah, I want them all to do well. I want them all to do well. But what you have to kind of look at, uh, and I, you know, it's, it's no secret. You got to look at what America is going to like. Uh, obviously, we like things a little bit differently than what America likes. Uh, so that's that's kind of always been my little strategy. Is and you know, assuming we know what America likes, Jake. <laughs> Amer- America liked dogs back in season seven. So uh, yeah, I've been surprised before. I've been surprised <laughs> yeah, before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah, I went with voices of our city choir. Uh, I also think I'm going to go with, um, I think they're going to like bad salsa as well. Great pick. Yeah. I think I like they're going to like bad salsa. I'm not a big fan of bad salsa. Um, first off, they didn't do salsa dancing, uh, <laughs> in their, in their auditions. Um, you know, it, it's, you know, they say, well, it's bad salsa. Well, it, it wasn't even salsa. It's like saying, Hey, I got, uh, you know, hot sauce or salsa from uh, my local restaurant, but then they bring me, uh, you know, guacamole. So some cheese dip. Yeah. yeah. Some cheese dip. So it's not like I got bad salsa. I didn't even get salsa. <laughs> uh, I got cheese dip. So, but I think, I think they're going to come out. I think America is going to like them and uh, they'll, they'll move, they'll move pretty, move on pretty far. Okay. All right. I get a couple more off the board here. Um, I think it's time for me to take another singer. Um, now, okay, so this is kind of me taking a page out of your book because uh, I, I think that America likes country music, and I think that Shakira McGrath uh, can go a long way. So I'm going to yeah. go with Shakira. Yep, that's a good that's a good pick. Um, what I like about Shakira is that it's not just. I mean, she she sings more modern country. I, I, did she did she get to sing during Judge Cuts? Um, yes, I believe okay. she did. Um, I believe she did, and yeah, she sang a a not very country song. Okay, so she may kind of venture out from just country. She may look at doing some other stuff. Yeah, first time she sang Redneck Woman, and then this yeah. time she sang. Uh, uh, wake me up when it's all over or whatever that song is uh wake me up by avici oh that's right okay um but uh i i think that she has the range and okay. she has the likability and i think that um you know americans are are country fans more so than i am on average <laughs> maybe uh so i'm take shakira um and then i'm going to go with uh one of the golden buzzers i'm gonna take waffle crew okay i think that's real good i feel really good about those picks yeah um i think people will like waffle crew's story more than they'll like their act okay yeah uh, story uh, can get you a lot of ways a long yeah, ways yeah it, it can and i think people are going to gravitate more towards that um than than their act their act was fine um but I, I think people will enjoy the story more. Okay, so it's uh, it's my turn. So I'm going to kind of venture back to uh, some 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 acts or some singers here, and uh, we're going to look at country as well. I'm going to go with Kennedy Dodds. Okay, uh, she's uh, she's a country singer as well. Cute little was she she a teenager twelve somewhere around in there. Uh, yeah, she was young. Yeah, um, she was a lot of fun. Uh, she's got that country accent. She's uh, she can sing country music. So uh, we'll go with we'll go with Kennedy Dodds um, for my first pick. Um, and then I think we're gonna look at maybe when we're getting into some acts I don't remember a whole lot about, um, or that I'm probably not gonna do very. I think we're kind of getting to the bottom of the barrel here, uh, Jay. Oh, unless, I've, I've unless, unless, you, unless you've got some hidden gems in there. I think I do. We'll okay. see. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, um, uh, uh, well, I'm sure with this. I think I'm going to go with Brett Loudermilk. I know that's kind of reaching. Um, okay. I'm probably re- getting him too high, but uh, I think I thought he was a lot of fun to watch. Uh, he was the sword swallower, uh, entertainer. Yes. Um, yes. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yes. I, I like Brett. I like Brett. Yeah. I think that. 
you know, as a comedian, danger act, entertainer, like he really does kind of hit it from all sides. Um, you know, if, if there's anything like he may not be focused enough, but um, people are going to remember him. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What, what I like, yeah. What I liked about him was that, yes, he took a simple sword swallowing act and turned it into like an eight minute entertainment performance. Uh, because he brought, he got the judges involved. He actually got them up there twice um, with different different types of swords. Uh, he has great interaction with the judges and and whoever he has on stage. Um, you know, it is a danger act. Danger acts. You know, it's it's hit or miss with America on danger acts. It depends on if uh, if they if they're more like Mel B and they turn their head away from it, or if they look straight and you know look straight onto it like a like a car wreck. Um, so it'll be kind of fun to see what Brett Lauderbilt can do next. Yep. Yep. I think, uh, that's, that's a good choice. Okay. Do you have one more here or is that, uh, no, I took Kennedy Dodds and okay. Brett Lauderbilt. Yep. Okay. Um, I am happy to see that I didn't take another golden buzzer. Like you can't go wrong with a golden buzzer, right? Right. Right. Uh, so I'm going to take Brandon Leak, the spoken okay. word poet. Okay. That's Okay. If, if there was ever a time where a spoken word poet can go far, like we are in it. Uh, so I'm, I'm happy to get him. Is, is America going to get it, Jay? I hope so. Okay. <laughs> for, for, my, for my draft's sake, I really hope so. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, and then... Uh, let's see. And I, I know I, I know you're thinking, but I kind of want to expound on Brandon Leak for a moment. Go ahead, go it, ahead. It, th- this 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 location I found Brandon Leak. You know the list of all 44 acts. It has him listed as a variety act. Okay. <laughs> um, I I'm not sure that I would list him as variety. I don't think I would list him variety. I mean, I don't know what he would fall under. Um, unless they just have like yeah. a canned list of different types of acts, and they didn't know where to put him. They might have, you know, seven different categories, yeah. and one of those is not one of the other six categories. Yes. So okay. What it is. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Not a singer, not a dancer, not a entertainer, not a danger right. act, not a comedian, not a <laughs> uh, not a hand balancer or acrobat or yeah. yeah, he's and the rest. Yeah. Um, okay, so I'm happy to take Brandon Leak off the board. And let's go with, I think, one of the memorable acts of the season so far, Alan Silva, uh, the acrobat. He was a a little person, uh, did the silks on his first performance. Um, I think he's got a lot in the tank. Uh, We could see him at least in a few points for me. Yes, and he's also the brother of uh, the guy from – do uh which is dangerous game they, yes 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 yeah. yeah yeah he's his brother i have a feeling he can probably get a lot of pointers on how to move uh, on how to move through the show um how to reach the audience i think i think he can get lots of help there that's that's a good pick all right uh your turn take two okay um i'm i've got to go to my big list here of all the acts because i think we're getting deep into the acts um and trying to uh, trying to remember what some of them did because some of them were early um and some of them didn't really have much of an impact on me uh so let's see here i i think i think we're gonna have to kind of go um a little little off the board here jay and um i i'm i'm hoping to get some help here from cheerleading twitter (laughs) and uh we're gonna go with the cheerleaders. Okay, um, the Wildcat. Cheer, yeah, cheerleaders don't don't let me down. Um, you know, a, AGT commenter, reach out to your to your loyal fans, um, get them some votes, and uh, let's let's get them on through the rounds here. Uh, hold okay. on, I gotta gotta mark them off the board here so I don't we don't add them a second time. And then I, I think I'm gonna go back to the singers and go with Christina Ray. Okay. Uh, the last golden buzzer on the board, I think. Yes, I think that's right. Um, Solid choice. Yeah. Okay. 
Uh, okay. I am going to go with... Um, <laughs> man, I've got comedians. I've got Danger Axe looking at me. Um, we've got Variety. Um, man, do I want to go that low? Let's take... Fang E, he's our ukulele player. Okay. And Vincent Marcus, our rapping impressionist. Um, Vincent Marcus. Yeah, Fang E's not, I'm not a big fan of Fang E. I thought, I may sound like an old person here. I thought his music was too loud. Kind of like um, from Back to the Future. I'm sorry, but you're, you're just too darn loud. Uh, I'm sorry, who's the second, second one you picked? Uh, I also took uh, Vincent Marcus. Vincent Marcus, okay. Um, so I'm I'm not sure. I mean, it, his music kind of seemed all over the board. He, you know, he was he was really trying to hit the the rock heavy, uh, and just it felt like it was just a bunch of. No- it sounds like I'm sound like an old man. It's just <laughs> sounds like a bunch of noise. He's a virtuoso. He's he's like Marcine, but uh, uh, but instead of. Um, Guitar, it's a ukulele. I, I guess so, yeah. But it's cute and it's great, and I I have high hopes. Uh, Vincent Marcus, I feel good about him as another comedian. Uh, I think that he has unique talent as a um, as a fun act. So, uh, Vincent Marcus, you, you got to um, – I'm taking him. Okay. Um, bear with me just a moment. I'm going to kind of uh, – let's see – Sorry, people. Uh, no, we still had one more golden buzzer. Roberta Battaglia. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you were hoping I didn't notice that, Jay. <laughs> uh, no, I just had her ranked really low on my list. Okay. Well, that's where I'm going to go next. Uh, I'm going to get another golden buzzer on my list. Good idea. Uh, yep. Uh, kind of got to yeah, gotta put some golden buzzers on your list. Um, you don't want to lose them all. Um, so we're going to go there. And then uh, I think... I think people are also going to enjoy uh, Bonavega. Great uh, choice. Yes. Yep. Yeah. I, he's, he's a little weird. He's a little different, but he's very enjoyable. He's very entertaining. Uh, I, I, I hope America gets it. Um, cause, cause he is different. He is different. Yeah. Um, he may grow on America much like, uh, yeah. Who did we uh, compare him to? It was um, uh, Prince Poppycock. Yes. Uh, you know, the more I, I saw it, the more I got it, and the more I liked it. So yes. uh, he has a lot of upside. Yeah, and every time I see Prince Poppycock, I get real excited because uh, I really, really enjoy his singing. Yep. Yeah. Yep, that's fair. Yep. Uh, okay, is that two for you then? That's two for me. Yep. Okay. We're, we're, I, half, we're halfway. <laughs> uh Okay, well, try not to belabor any points too much here. <laughs> um, let's see. Okay, I don't know. I, I'm not sure what list you're looking at here. Um, and it's, it's a group that we know almost nothing about uh, is The Shape. Uh, um, okay. Commenter and I talked a little bit about this group when we were talking about uh, the judge cuts. The Shape is a group of high school boys uh that are dancers um and i think that they've got potential uh having not watched any of their videos or anything um and then i'm also going to take kelvin dukes uh, another singer uh he was the um what are you saying like something real jazzy if i recall um i do not have him on my list um am i missing out on something no kelvin oh, there he is there he is yep i am missing uh yep and cameron ross i didn't know well i there's several i didn't have on my list oh yep i may be missing out on some people oh okay all let's right me... no wonder you thought it was getting thin yeah let's see so <laughs> yeah uh cameron ross kelvin dukes i didn't have them on my list uh jonathan goodwin i don't know how i didn't get them over here Okay, let's uh, let's fix that. Okay. Uh, okay, that looks a little bit better. Okay, so you said Kelvin Dukes, the singer. Kelvin Dukes. Okay. 
and uh, what was the other one that I took? Was the shape. The shape. Yep, I got them. Yep. Okay. All right. Let me uh, make sure all my my list is up to date here. Mark these guys off. Um, so that added two more to my <laughs> three more to my my list here that uh, I was completely missing. But uh, so I'm gonna go. Uh, we're kind of getting into some some different types of acts and some this is now the the bottom of the the second half of the list um Indeed. still still some some decent acts uh and some that are they're not so good um it's interesting that you know like pork chop review how did they did they audition in judge cuts they uh did not no they just got put right through okay um well i'm gonna go uh i think malik dope our uh, drummer great our choice one, yep. one of our drummers and i have said that this is the year of the drummer <laughs> yeah uh, so since i'm going with them i'm also going to go with divas and drummers of compton okay all right one of the two's got to go through you're thinking i i hope so i'm hoping that one of people will enjoy uh that group one our a, a drum drumming group all right i like that i i'm i'm cool with that uh let's see here i'm gonna go with uh what i think is a very professional looking act and really um really enjoyable is the bellow sisters yes they are a lot of fun and hmm and how far down did i have them i'm thinking about bellow and annalise knock um not not related to the bellow sisters not related but you know it'd be kind of nice just to get all the bellows off the board at once <laughs> um, no you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna go with jonathan goodwin he's a, a yep. danger act that yep. we didn't get to see much of but i think that um we could see him make some make some waves okay uh okay so one of the ones i did not have on my list earlier that i do now is cameron ross um, and when I like Cameron Ross, the same way I like uh, the double dragons is that they're all over, he's all over social media. Uh, he's, he's getting his name out there. Um, and, and I, I think that's really, really going to help screen time, screen time. Yep. Yep. Um, so. Okay. Cameron uh, Ross. Yep. And then, um, then I'm going to go so, so that you can't have them. I'm going to go with Bello and Annalise. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't, I don't want you to uh, you know, have a monopoly on all the Bello. The bellows. <laughs> uh, fair enough. Okay. Um, I'm going to take the Spiros bros. Uh, the okay. uh, 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 Diabolo performers. Yes. Yes, uh, I think that they are smiley and fun and engaging. America might really like them. Uh, I'm also going to take Nolan Neal, uh, our um, singer with a beard uh, from Tennessee, possibly a friend of yours. You're from Tennessee. Uh, I, I am from Tennessee, but uh, not that part. Yes. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Uh, so Nolan Neal is the other one. Okay. Uh, yeah. The Spiros Brothers. That'll be interesting because... I, I don't think Diablo performers have traditionally gone far in AGT. So that'll be interesting. They are entertaining. I, lo I love watching them. You know, they're a lot of fun. The, the younger brother is, is great. He's probably the, he's probably the act. And then the older brother is kind of the, the assistant. I mean, they're, yeah. they're great together, but I think the, the act is the younger brother. The, the Laurel to his hearty. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> um, okay. So, uh you know one of my favorite acts of all time is uh the sentimentalist okay yes so you know how much i love my mentalists uh, yep. ex except for the the act that showed up last year which we don't name because they're not very good uh <laughs> so i'm gonna go with max major well, that's a great name. choice yeah. we don't have a lot of magic in this in no this no we don't that's a that's a big shame we love magic um we 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 are disappointed that ryan tricks didn't make it uh to to the live shows hoping that he maybe can get uh, uh 
a wild card spot because we need we need more magic and we need more good magic. Okay. Um, and then I'm gonna go uh, with pork chop review, Jay. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yes. I I know most people would have them kind of at the <clears throat> bottom of their draft board. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna get them as as a steal here, Jay. Uh, if they made it through uh, to the live shows, uh, then then we we deserve for them to move on. Okay. Okay. Yeah. There's uh there's could be a point for you. Yeah. Uh, possibly two. Um. <laughs> Um, okay. Okay. I like that. Uh, I, what do we got? Um, let's see. I'm going to, I'm going to put these alphabetical and then I'm going to just kind of list out who's left here. Um, Alex Hooper, our insult comic, Alexis Brownlee. Was she the, uh, uh, she was the uh, the dog act that we saw online. Yes, her puppy pals. Yes. Yeah, okay. Uh, Alex Hooper, Alexis Brownlee, Annie Jones, singer. We've got uh, Selena, singer. Dance Town Family. Um, I feel like they're worth a point or two. Um, we've got Frenchie Baby, um, Lightwave Theater Company. That might be a point. Noah Epps, a dancer. Uh, Sheldon Riley singer, Simon and Maria dancers, Thomas Day singer. Um, okay, and I'm gonna put these back the way that I had them sorted before here. I'm gonna take Lightwave Theater Company. I think okay. they have more to show us, uh, and I think that the the best of Lightwave Theater Company uh, is worth a point or two. And uh, I'm also going to take Annie Jones. Okay. I, I wasn't a big fan of the Lightwave Theater Company. I, I felt they really kind of let us down. I thought there was a whole lot of potential there. And, uh, you know, th they said, what, what did you say there? We, we, what, what did you just say? I, I said the best of them is worth a point of two. Like, yeah. There's and potential I, there. Yeah. And I, there's, there's a lot of potential. Um, and I, I think the only way they can go is up. Um, because I just didn't think they really delivered in auditions. I agree. I agree. And it, like their, their potential, they should have gone a lot sooner than they did uh, yeah. off our board here. So yeah. Yeah. I'm happy with that pick. Okay. Uh, so then uh, we still have uh, Alex Hooper, a comedian. Yeah. Alexis Brownie, Brownlee, Selena yeah. Bray, Dance Town Family. We didn't see a whole lot from Dance Town Family. That was like a two second part of a two second montage, right? Almost nothing. Yep. Yes. Yep. Uh, Frenchy baby, uh, which I contortionist. Yep. Yes. Our contortionist, Noah Epps, a dancer, Sheldon Riley singer, Simon and Maria kid dancers, which they actually did salsa. And, <laughs> um, and it was actually good salsa. Uh, and then we have Thomas day, the singer. So, uh, I'm going to go with our other comedian. I'm going to load up on comedians, Jay. Okay. Um, hoping that, you know, one of them, I've got both comedians, both stand up comedians on my draft board. So um, Alex Hooper and, uh, and let's see. And, oh, from uh, before you took, uh, uh, Usama. I took Usama, Usama. earlier in the, in okay. the, yep. I've, I've still got Michael Yo and Vincent Marcus. Oh, that's so right. I, you do have, yeah. I, I mean, I, Vincent Marcus, I mean, it shows him as a pr impressionist, which I think he more yeah. is. He, I mean, it is funny what he does, but he's not, I wouldn't consider him a comedian. Okay. All right. Yeah. But you're right. You have Michael Yo. Uh, so, and see, that's, that's how much I completely forget about Michael Yo. Is he just didn't have, I mean, I'm hoping I'm wrong on Michael Yo, <laughs> but he had little impact on me. Okay. Okay. Yep. yep. Uh, and then I'm going to go with the actual salsa group. Uh, Simon and Maria. Yep. Simon and Maria, uh, who actually does salsa dancing. Um, and uh, we'll see if they go up against uh, bad salsa. Okay. Okay. Um, I will take Sheldon Riley. I think okay. that, you know, it, it, he wasn't necessarily my kind of singer, but I think America liked Sheldon Riley. I think that uh, the best of him is, is very good and he may really capture America's heart and, uh, and take a, 
a spot or two. Oh yeah, uh, he's uh, he's from Australia. He's kind of the Billy Eilish type. Yeah, he he has the beads over his face. Yeah, uh, yeah. Like it's not my kind of singer either. But you know, if America America enjoys it, uh, apparently a lot of people when when I was live tweeting that night, a lot of people really really enjoyed Sheldon Riley. Yep. And I'm gonna go with a. Uh, unique act. This is something that I enjoy maybe more than America, but I'll take Frenchie baby. Okay. Um, you know, he also has, you know, the America's got feels of it all, uh, you know, sort of being estranged from his family and, you know, hopefully we get to see that that has been, um, uh, mended a little bit and, uh, we might get to see, um, I get to see, uh, America fall in love with him. So he was the one where uh, Simon actually called his mom, right, on yep. the show. Okay. Yeah. Hopefully they've yeah they've reconciled and um, come back together. Okay, we're down to four acts, Jay. Um, I've got one, two, three, four, five. So we have Selena Graves, oh, Dance Town Family, Noah Epps, and Thomas Day. Did you take Alexis Brownlee? I took, oh, and then there's Lexus Brownlee. So we have five acts left. Okay. Um, so then, okay. Uh, okay. So, well, does that add up to 44? Yes. Okay. Uh, so it's then my turn to take two. Yep. So I'm going to take uh, Thomas Day and Noah Epps. I'm cool with that. Okay. Uh, Noah was the uh, like robot dancer, uh, marionette dancer. Uh, Thomas Day, you know, he's going to get the teenage girl vote. Um, I, I could definitely see either of them earning you a point or two. Um, I will take Dance Town Family. Okay. I think that he, uh, they might um, make America smile enough. Uh, they've, they've got the pedigree. <laughs> uh, it, I believe they are of the same lineage as the Miami all-stars and the Miami all-stars junior and the children of Miami all-stars. So, um, we've got that. And then, uh, I will take Alexis Brownlee. So you don't have to. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Thank <and> you. <laughs> <laughs> Which leaves you with Selena. Um, and I don't know that she should be last off the board, but um, uh, you shouldn't feel bad uh, getting her um, as one of your acts, I think. Okay. I really thought you were going to leave me with the dog act, Jay. <laughs> no, no. I, I think we call ourselves friends now. So yeah. uh, I'll, I'll happily take that off your, off your conscience. So just to kind of recap, uh, I'm going to go through my list and then we'll go through your list. So I had uh, Danalia Tulashova. Uh, singer, Usama Sadiq, comedian, Double Dragon, uh, singer, dance duo, sisters, twins, yep. uh, Voices of Our City Choir, Choir, Bad Salsa, Dance Act, Kennedy Dodds, Country Singer, Brett Loudermilk, Danger Act, The Cheerleaders from uh, Wild, The Wildcats, Christina Ray, singer, Roberta Battaglia, singer, Bonavega, a singer, entertainer, uh, Malik Dope, listed as a music act but he plays the drums uh snare drums mainly toms as well uh and then also divas and drummers of compton cameron ross the singer bella and annalise knock make max major the men the only mentalist in the, in the in the on the show uh pork chop review alex hooper simon and maria thomas day noah epps and selena graves very good um, I do not have the order that I drafted mine. I, I just kind of wrote my name next to them on my, okay. on my spreadsheet here. Yeah. So, so uh, I've got... I can, I can oh. go in the order that I had them ranked or I can let you give me the order or. Yeah. Can... Yeah. I've got them in order of how you, you drafted them. So, okay. uh, we got Archie Williams, the singer, resound singers, bone breakers, uh, Michael Yo, the comedian, Shakira McGrath, singer, waffle crew, Yep. Brandon Leak, who's listed as Variety, but is spoken word. Uh, Alan Silva, Aerial Act, Fang E. Vince, excuse me, Vincent Marcus. Marcus? Yep. Um, the Shape. Kelvin Dukes, The Bellows Sisters, Hand Balancing Act. 
Jonathan Goodwin, the Spiros Brothers, Dolan Neal, a singer, Lightwave Theater Company, Annie Jones, Sheldon Riley, Frenchie Baby, Dance Town Family, and Alexis Brownlee and her puppy friends. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, I think I've got a great team. I'm, I'm sorry that, uh, I'm going to wipe the floor with you. <laughs> yeah. You, and you probably will. <laughs> yes. Uh, no, I, I, I feel good about it. Um, I feel like I've got, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've got all 10 of my top 10. Um, but you know, I was ranking them based on how I enjoyed them, not how I think America will enjoy them. So my, yes. my draft order was different than my, uh, my initial order. Uh, but it gave me something to to build off of. So yeah, A- AGT is one of those okay. AGT is one of those interesting shows. You know, it's like any other uh, talent or variety show where we know what we like, but it's hard to judge what America is going to like, and that's really what counts because um, we can submit our vote, but then when you put all of America's votes together, you know, it may put some, through something completely different. Yeah, yeah, indeed. Um, you know, one of the uh, radio shows that I listen to, they have uh, quickie polls that they put out every day. And, you know, what do you think of this? What do you think of that? How do you feel about this? And I almost always vote, uh, you know, the the smaller percentage, right? If it's between A and B, and A is 60% and B is 40%, I'm almost always voting the wrong way. So <laughs> uh, it makes me think that my taste... Um, maybe doesn't match up with uh with the rest of america or the rest of uh um central iowa that listens to this this radio show anyhow but uh you know that's um uh hopefully uh you know in our our friendly friendly wager here uh you know i'm a little more in line with what america likes yeah i I love doing this every year i just i like doing fantasy sports and just doing fantasy picks and whatnot so it's just kind of something fun to do to stay engaged with the the show uh you know we talk about it we watch it and now we uh we pick who we like yep yep uh cody i want to say that i do believe this is my 50th episode with you uh it's been a fun ride and uh, i'm i'm looking forward to the next 50 so uh it's it's a reason to uh you know hit the air horns beer, 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 yeah. beer. and uh you know let, here's to a, a great time uh everybody tell your friends what a good time you're having listen to the show and uh let's let's get some more downloads some more uh some more notoriety build our our agt community out there yeah, we, we kind of buried it at the beginning. We should have talked about this at the very beginning because you've now been on half of the episodes. We are at our 100th episode. Wow. Uh, and that's, uh, you know, at least, at least according to what we've, uh, you know, our posting online, it shows that this is our 100th episode, which is, I feel, a pretty good mark. I mean, for a, a, a podcast that only does one type of show that's on for three months, out of the year (laughs) and we've now been on four seasons um it's it's been a it's been a lot of fun i've really enjoyed um i'm not sure how many how many shows i've personally done um if you've done 50 i've probably done you know 75 or 80 i'm I'm really not even sure um but it's it's been great um it's been great doing this podcast and i hope we can do it for another 100 more yeah, absolutely. It's it's been a lot of fun. Um, we're getting a little bit of traction on Reddit. If you check out the you know AGT uh, community on Reddit, uh, I, I know there's at least one uh, guy on Reddit that said, "Hey, great to see you guys uh, hanging out on Reddit too. Love the show." So um, you know we're we're welcome to uh, kind of build this community. However, uh, it's a good time for us to say if you want to reach out to us, uh, you can email uh, Cody. Hill, wait, no. <laughs> yeah. On Twitter, it's at yeah. AGT Time, uh, at One Man Bander, that's me, or at Cody L. Patterson. Uh, you can email us uh, at AGT Time at gmail.com. No, no. No? no. Oh, no. no. It's AGT Yeah, almost uh, AGT Cast uh, at gmail.com. Yeah. I've been around for 50 episodes, but I still can't do this. <laughs> so. <laughs> uh, AGT Cast at Gmail. Uh, and then our, our Facebook page is. AGT, AGT cast. cast, yes. Cast. Uh, okay. we, we've also now got uh, a domain for our website. Our website was part of, you know, our our hosting companies, but we've now got agttime.com. Uh, so you can go out to agttime.com uh, and look at our podcast feed and 
uh, hit up all the socials there as well as all the, the different places that we, that we publish the podcast. You know, we're, we're on all the biggies, Spotify, Apple podcast, Google, uh, whatnot. Uh, I don't know, you know, Jay, I don't know if you're aware of this, but, uh, Amazon music is getting ready to get into the podcast business. No. So they've, uh, they've announced that they're going to start, uh, doing podcasts as well. Uh, we've submitted hours to that. So when they, when they open up and start allowing people to listen to podcasts, our podcast will be on Amazon music. Um, yeah. so that'll be really exciting. Something like, Hey Alexa, play AGT time. <laughs> That's exactly what you can do. That's right. Sweet. Yes. So, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're out there, we're, you know, if you're looking for us, if you're looking for an AGT podcast, there's us. And then there's another one that's part of like a giant corporation. Uh, so we, we'd appreciate you listening to the little guy, support the little guy. Uh, we do this for fun. Uh, we're, we're big fans. We're big fans. And uh, we, we hope that you listen to us. Yeah, we, uh, I think it's worth saying, coming off the uh, Ryan Niemiller interview, we had a record number of downloads last month, and we're you know, hoping to see that number continue to go up. We've got a couple of different interviews in the hopper, maybe, uh, that you know, might turn into, into a reality. So um, you know, we're hoping to bring you a little bit more uh, content besides just our thoughts on, on the episodes and, uh, and really turning this into something great. So. Uh, yeah. We do appreciate y'all. Yeah, Jay, we also had a uh, review on Apple Podcasts. And if you'll give me a moment to put that, pull that up, I will uh, read that off. Uh, so if you can. While get... you're pulling that up, I can say uh, one thing that we didn't mention we uh, do have a PAL account, and you can email, you know, if you want to support us financially uh, to keep this hosted and to keep it uh, up and running, you can send a, a buck or two to uh, the uh, AGT time uh, PayPal, uh, PayPal us a few bucks. Uh, otherwise, of course, rate, review, subscribe. And that is, uh, that's what helps us grow and helps uh, other people find us and all the other things that podcasters say <laughs> to try and guilt you into doing exactly what we're saying. Yeah, well, I hope that uh, Gamer Girl Happy Time listened all the way to the end of the podcast because I'm going to read her her um, her review on Apple Podcasts. This is about uh, Cheer Twitter, Jay. Okay. Well, Cheer, Cheer Twitter's out there listening. Uh, she said, hi, I'm here from Cheer Twitter, and we wanted to show you how powerful we really are. So, hi. Five-star <laughs> review. <laughs> so. Uh, I love all five of those stars. Thank you, yes. Gamer Girl Happy Time. Yes, uh, we're going to put you through. We're going to give you the golden buzzer. Uh, thank you very much. Perfect. All right. Well, I, man, I feel like we've uh, <laughs> we've hit all the high points, uh, maybe some of the not quite as high points and even some of the low points. Uh, better put a bow on this and, uh, and, and let you get to uh, editing it and, and getting this puppy online. On yep. all the different podcast platforms. That's right. So we'll be back uh, next. We should be back at a normal time Thursday night, uh, the thirteenth. Is that right? Uh, I think it's the third. Yeah, sure. Thursday night uh, after live shows, so we'll have live shows results, and we'll be back Thursday night to recap all of that. So send us questions, comments, whatever you like, didn't like, uh, whatever. So we'll talk to you all next week. If you got nothing else, Jay. All right. Nope. I'm, I'm good. Thank you all for listening. Stay safe. Yep. Uh, bye. Bye.